Happy Saturday. Today, we have a pumpkin seafood bisque. Yes, in that bowl right there, we have lots of conch, shrimp, and lobster right out of our green waters here in Nassau, Bahamas. To go along with it, I have a cup Johnny cake. Can I say that? Or is it a muffin Johnny cake? And let's not forget, I can't have my meal without my papaya. I also threw in some strawberries. And today, my mug here is saying calm. It's a calm day here in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. And my mug is filled with tea from the Secret Garden. It's a pomegranate tea. And let's not forget, oh, we just toasted this nice orange mimosa. I have two guests, special guests joining me. And as you can see, they are enjoying this meal already. We have Rensine and her friend, Nadia. Nadia, joining us here at Happy Saturday. What are you doing on this beautiful Saturday in your neck of the woods? Today, we're continuing with Stan Taller Minute Motivators talking about control. Just as a sports team needs a huddle to talk about its plays and arrangements, organizations need meetings to map strategies and discuss responsibilities. A good team has a clear agenda. Effective leaders determine the priorities for the meeting and post them in a careful, carefully arranged order. A good team meeting starts and ends on time. Let's not forget, we're a little late today. Um, that's the reason right over there, Bahamian time, <laughs> if it's such a thing. A poor leader stifles discussion. A poor leader allows the dialogue to become chatter. The best leader has a destination for every meeting and helps the team arrive there on time. Leaders are conductors. Everything is created twice, first mentally, then physically, says Greg Anderson. Leaders make team meetings work. And we're continuing with our leadership book by John C. Maxwell. Are you aware of your full potential? And we're continuing with his points of being aware of your full potential with point four. You can develop the potential you already possess. Everyone has potential based on their natural talents. Some areas of potential require very specific abilities such as those found in symphony musicians, professional athletes, and great artists. Other areas are more general in nature and rely on multiple skill sets. Remember, you can develop the potential you already possess. You have it, use it, make the best of it. It's a gift. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Happy Saturday. How is it going over there, ladies? Can you share, tell us a little bit about your meal? The food is great, it's really, really good. Well, um, let me be honest, I'm not a fan of pumpkin. But Gia put it down. She put it down with all the punk, the lobster, and the what was shrimp in it, right? Excellent job. You know, I'm gonna end it off with my mimosa as well as, oh, but well, I already ate all of my Johnny muffins. They were delicious. And I'm gonna end it off with my orange mimosa. Great, and there you have it. Happy Saturday. Have a wonderful Saturday. Happy Saturday.